Hi guys, I'm Cassie from Furrydale Creation and I do videos every single Wednesday all about sewing. In this video, it's all about the pin tuck foot. So what we're going to need to create our pin tuck effect, we're going to need our pin tuck foot, obviously a piece of fabric and also a twin needle. And this is what a pin tuck foot looks like. You can see these grooves here. So when you create your first line of pin tuck, you're then going to use these gauges in order to make your next pin tuck. Now in my instructions for my baby lock pin tuck foot, they recommend that it's best to use a twin needle of a 2.0 by 80. So the 2.0 means two millimeters and that's the distance between the two needles and the 80 is the size of the needle some of these instructions are going to be for the baby lock soprano so if you don't have one just skip over anything that's not relevant to you but first of all we are going to have to change out the needle because of course we need that twin needle in So when you put your twin needle in, it goes with the flat side the other way round. So you've got the curved side facing you. So the twin needle requires two threads. So we're going to place our spool on here. And I'm going to show you a neat trick that I got taught the other day so just make sure that this thread is coming from underneath as it's rolling out and then just put your other thread on so I've put this on the bobbin and I've got this so it's coming from the top so you've got one thread coming from the bottom one thread coming from the top so I'm going to start threading one of the threads through So one of the threads, it doesn't matter which one, needs to be caught on the number six bar here, this hook, just one of them, and the other one doesn't get hooked on. And now I'm going to thread the second one. So now you have two threads, you've got one hooked around here and one just free here, and now we're going to thread our twin needle manually. So for the Baby Lock Soprano users, you're going to have to go to your menu and see this twin needle here, you're going to go down and you're going to select it to on and then press OK. And also within your manual, it's going to let you know where you can use your twin needle and everywhere it says OK, obviously it's OK and everywhere it says no, you can't use your twin needle for this particular stitch. So this is the fabric I'm going to be using and what they recommend is that you draw your first line in order to guide you straight down. So remember this is going to be visible so you're going to want to do this out of chuck so it washes out or you're going to have to do it with some sort of a fabric marker that comes out. What I'm going to use is my iron so I'm just going to like create a crease all the way down and then just create my pin tuck. So I've created my first line right here just with my iron. I've just created a crease as a guide. The stitch that I'm using is stitch three on the first set of stitches on my Baby Lock Soprano. It's just a regular straight stitch that goes along the center line. So your thread tension is going to create the pin tucks and it depends on the effect of the pin tuck that you want. So I'm going to start really, really high. So it goes all the way to 9.0. Let's see how this looks. 
So we're going to put our first pin tuck in this first guide, just right here. And we're going to follow this line all the way down and we're going to look at this pin tuck and we're going to follow the line. You're going to have to go really slow here because the faster you go, you're going to become wonky. So until you get really good at it, I would just take your speed down slow and just go really steady. So this is what my first pin tuck looks like. Another thing you can do is you can insert cording in this pin tuck as well, like a thin cording you can buy from your fabric store or from the sewing machine provider. Um, and you can send this cord all the way down the centre here and the stitches will lock that cord in place and the cording will make that pin tuck a lot more sturdier. Or you can do it without. So I'm going to use this first pin tuck guide, this one here that we took the first time and I'm going to send my next pin tucks down. So this is now row two and you can see how pretty it looks creating pin tucks on your fabrics. The recommendation is that you always use an odd number, so never stop on an even number. Try and stop on a 3, a 5 or a 9. Any more than 9 is a bit too much. This is currently five right now. I'm going to take it all the way up to nine just so you can see. But it does look awesome. So this is what the pin tucking is going to look like. Now I took it all the way up to nine of pin tucks. And to be honest, I think it's a little bit too much. Um, I think maybe just stop at five. I just think that's a nice look there. Taking it all the way to nine, it's just, it takes away from the prettiness of it. This foot didn't come with my machine. You will have to purchase the pin tuck foot separately, but I think it's a fun foot to have. It would look wonderful on blouses or shirts or placemats or christening gowns. There's all sorts of things that you could do with this foot. I hope this video has helped and thank you so much for watching. I will see you next Wednesday. Bye.